Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Atlanta Motor Speedway. Once again, this time for the NRSL Digital Storm Cup Series. It's the fourth race in the playoffs, 29th on the season. And I am joined by Vince Fries for 75 laps of action. Each day, who's going to be peaked today? Dylan Young, we know he's good at this place in trucks. Can he back it up in the Cup Series? We've, we've been to four different types of courses. Dort Road Course, Dirt Oval, and Bristol Dirt. And, of course, Darlington with the egg-shaped belt now at the mile and a half. Got Kev Shear in the front row. Can Samet Oskin and Charles Sanford keep that two-party of two in Chicagoland? And more to come. Back to you. This is Dylan Young's third pull on the season. Joining him with four other drivers to get three or more pulls on the year. Rain, Fitzwater, Oskin, and Charles Sanford. Kev Shearer will start in second place. This is, I believe, Kev's best start on the season next to Puka Kohei a few months ago. Row 2, Samet Oskin and Andrew Rich. Of course, Oskin already locked in with a win to the finale. Allison Rain, Alexander Rowe in Row 2. Rain has, or not Rain, uh, Rowe. Rowe has won here twice in his career, 2017 and last year in 2020. Row 4, we've got Jonathan Zorlin and Zach Flickinger. And in row five, we've got Charles Sanford and Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Charles Sanford with his win yesterday tied a mark that we did not think to mention. Most wins between Cup and Trucks. Andrew Rich, three career Jerky Pro wins, 12 career Cup wins, sits at 15, most all time. Now tied by Charles Sanford, who has nine wins in Cup and six in Trucks in his career. I'll go through the rest of the starting grid as Vince will go over Go or Go Home and those other two drivers that won here in 2018 and 2019. Little rookie luck out of missing the field. we got Logan Williams, Foster Henders, Sam Dyer, Lane Sanders, Derek Campbell, Scott Rouse, Daniel Bouchard, Stephen Cologne. And, of course, the other two winners is 2018 Deanna Jones, and on the field in the truck series, and 2019 Austin Alvey. Sorry if I butchered that in 2019. And uh, as always, Alvis, okay. And uh, as always, the fall off here, we should have a two stopper today. Let's say around four seconds. We should, we should, maybe more, but we'll, we'll go three to four seconds for sure. And what do these cuppers do on the pit box, right? This is a critical race. We know someone can clinch the playoff today. And a place like this where skill matters, top 10 starting position is critical. Yes, that was Austin Alves who won in 2019 for Roush Fenway Racing. That was BMW's first win in the Digital Storm Cup Series. Appreciate that. So as I mentioned, Samet Oskin already in the finale with his win. That came at Bristol Dirt. Charles Sanford is in. Now with two wins, which doesn't really give him a bonus or anything. It's just two wins on the playoffs. Um, looking at the current points situation, it doesn't matter. Um, but Charles leads five points over Jonathan Zorlin. 21 over Austin. 27 over Fitzwater. 39 over Rain. Kind of just gives you an idea of how everybody's been doing this year through three playoff races. Uh, Kev Shear 7th, Dylan Young 6th, Seth Cole 8th, Nico Tringali 9th, Jessica Shelton 10th, and Nate Rogers 11th out of playoff drivers. As for the non-playoff driver battle for 12th in the standings, Alexander Rowe now has just a 9-point advantage over Andrew Rich and a 13-point advantage over Cole Deaver. Quinton Moore is 70 points back. Top 30 battle coming in. Matthew Rodriguez now with only a 27 point buffer over Diego Yepes. Matt Rod starts in the final row. Yepes starts in 11th. Could we see a top 30 swing in the owner points for the first time in three or four months? Green flags out. Dylan Young leads him to the green. Kev Shear actually got a better jump there, Vince. He is going to take the lead. Kev Shear's got help with Rich on the outside. One of the best that hasn't won this season. Now what can Kev Shear do from the front as Dylan Young got bogged down? He's going to lose third.
Kev leads the first lap of the race. See Andrew dip to the bottom. The cup cars go a little bit slower here in the corner, but faster on the straightaways. See Alexander Rowe looking for what would be a record three wins on one track. Nobody has won on the same track three times before in Digital Storm Cup Series history. Look at Zach Flickinger really fighting it there on the top. Same with Fitzwater and Austin. Fitzy had to back off there now. I, what, what do you do here if you roll? Flickinger, those guys don't risk. None of these guys really have anything to play for other than spoil the party. Kev Stewart, though, I mean, he needs to drive with the wheels off this thing. We know Ray and Sanford were in the truck race yesterday. They learned a lot. Kev Shearer, man, one of those drivers that got really lucky, had a great race at Puke Kohei, and, um, you know, he got that win. Outside, outside of that, you know, his stats this season, one win, three top fives, four top tens. Kind of an outlier there in the playoffs, but what would it mean for him if he won today or at any other track in the first nine playoff races and got into that finale that would be something definitely be a story but I mean, how is Sanford still holding pace on that bottom I mean he he equipped the tri the quad oval and he's still looking for second that thing is a beast and there's Roe oh look at Roe and Sanford are going to put Kevin the middle three wide and it's getting dicey Nate Rogers trying to charge up towards the front Dylan Young though what happened? One of those, I think, just the Q setup all the way. They went with the Q setup, and they should have maybe spent a little more time on the race pace. Yeah, Sheer needs to fight back here. Sanford is like, going to side draft a little bit. Rose got the top run. He's rolling underneath the third, fourth, excuse me. Is Sanford just doesn't bite on that bottom. He's got an incredible four drive. And you know, you know, Vince, we forgot to mention this um, a few races ago, but. Charles Sanford won at Pigs Creek to end the regular season, and then he won at Island Rally to start the playoffs, and that is a form of going back-to-back, -back, and he was the first driver to go back-to-back -back since Sorlin did at Springfield and in Indy. He could be looking to be the second driver to win back-to-back -back races twice in the season, joining Zorlin on that mark as he has taken the race lead. He's, he, he looks like he's on another island, man. I don't, I don't know what to say. It's... Uh... Charles Sanford's the hottest man in the garage area right now, but what can Zorland do? Right? you got to think about who can challenge him. You think about Zorland, you think about Rain, those two have been hot too. Zorland has, what, four wins, I think, this season? Or that's, five? That four wins for Zorland, that's oh, correct. Four wins plus an all-star race, I think. Yeah, so that's why I thought the five. But uh, I think that's that's the challengers right there. I don't know if Kev is going to have the pace. Here comes Zorland as we speak. Falloff has not really kicked in just yet. It's only about half a second. See Quinton Moore has charged his way towards the front here. The top 10. Dylan Young, though, outside the top 10 now in 11th. As they do battle up at the front, let's look through the field. See Seth Cole trying to charge forward there in 13th. He's got Jessica Shelton right to his inside. Jesse Turner inside the top 20. Yepes holding on for now. Cole Deaver. William Brock, how about Adam Flickinger trying to gain points here on that top 30 bubble? As is Priya McShane. All three of those drivers, veterans in the series, second year drivers too at that. How about Sam Young had a great day yesterday. RJ Bishop charged from the rear. Ace Rogers struggling so far today, as is Keith Rich. Nico Tringali as well. Tringali has struggled in qualifying so far in the playoffs, and that is really hurting him with a chance to win a race. He is outside of the top 30 right now. As you see, once again, the rookies struggling. Vargas, uh, Matthew Rodriguez, Trey Smith. We saw with the heavy tie wear at Darlington last week, Vince. You know, the rookies, uh, namely Trey Smith, you know, he, he started up front, but as the run went on, he just lost time and time and time. As Laura Chung and Edwin Justice have just had nothing for the field today. I think Edwin Justice might have a problem. We saw that with Cologne in the truck. And now here we go back to the front, though. So, ooh, looks like Fitzwater's a new player in this. He was at the back end of that top ten. He's coming up. Kev Dylan Shearer. Young has lost it for sure. Kev Shearer, man, though, still holding on here in the top five. 
And I uh, just wanted to check there. No reported issues for Edwin Justice. So I think it is just maybe a tight setup. And, you know, just rookie driver on a very worn racetrack. Yeah, this is one of the toughest places to be as a rookie. We forgot to mention it in the trucks race, but we'll definitely mention it here. But here comes Allison Rain. Like I said, both in the truck race, Rain Sanford, they've learned something on that bottom line. Let's see what can happen. We didn't do this in Jerky Pro, but let's go on board here. Let's go on board with Andrew Rich. Let's do it. You see Andrew Rich here. Exit off the two, fits far at the bottom. Again, it's rolling in front. Stays tucked in the trap. We went off the entry there. Get back. He's going to get a little better in the middle of the corner. Still in line. Losing a little bit to Zorlin. Fits far size rafting him. About a 32 second lap here on four tires, maybe 31. Ray hits the apron there. He backs up the entry, gets a nice middle of the corner. And that's a lap here around Atlanta. Sorlin has taken the race lead away from Charles Sanford, but can Sanford fight back on that bottom? I think any of these drivers has a really good chance at winning here today, Vince. Honestly, this could be kind of, this could be like we said last race, right? Pit strategy could be the ultimate. And you gotta get you gotta get it while it's good, right? Once these tires hit a clip, let's say lap twenty five. It's hard to pass. It's almost like they're bogged down the second in about a tenth fall off here. Already one second fall off as Sorlin will hold off Sanford for now, but Rain is challenging with him. They're looking to get back to the lead, or Charles is looking to get back to the lead. Rain is looking to take the lead. So you see Kev starting to perhaps get a little tight compared to the others here at the front. Quentin Moore and Nate Rogers have kept up with the pack so far as Dylan Young is just nowhere today, race pace. Yeah, it's back to the drawing board for Dylan Young next week, unless he somehow pulls a nice undercut here. I don't see him having the race winning pace. Seth Cole will take away 12th place, or they've been battling for 12th place, rather. You see Shelton minding her own business in 14th, and then a big gap to this raging pack on on down the order big chunk of the field right here from 14th place or 15th place rather down to i believe it is 23rd? 40th 40th kind of 40th or let's see yeah. now keith rich where's keith rich 35th 34th okay Thirty-fourth. Oh yeah, thirty-fifth. You're right. Colt Hudson's there in that group. Right now, though, look at this. Matt Rod, thirty-ninth. Very good chance for Adam Flickinger, Fia McShane, and Yepes to gain some positions or points on them. Rather, it's at the line. Let's see. All of them are in the top twenty, I believe. Yes, McShane fifteenth, Adam Flickinger eighteenth, Yepes twentieth. Although Yepes starting to fade out of the three. Oh, look at Yepes trying to make a jump to the top and make a move, but Deaver and Ferrani jumped up instead, blocking that path. As Sanford has taken back the lead at the front of the field. And now he is under fire from Rain as Zorlin does battle with Fitzwater. Yeah, the, the, these four seem to be separate. Quinn and Moore, though, and Rowe. I mean, Rowe's been good here, but Quinn and Moore is a surprise. He's trying to play spoiler for sure. But just Sanford has that drive off the top and... Rain's got a really used to draft. Has to go with the side draft today to have any shot Stamper in the corner. Because so we know these cup cars make more power down the street. I mean, what can you say about Charles Stamper this season? Those seven wins, 14 top fives, 20 top tens. Same thing with Rain. Five wins, 14 top fives, 18 top tens. They've been the two drivers most consistently starting at the front of the field, both with an average starting position under a 10. Their average finishing positions are nothing to laugh at. The rain, a bit lower there with a 12.11. The Sanford's 10.14. Two other drivers that have been very consistent this season. Samet Oskin, 10.32. And Zorlin, 10.96. It's 
Currently, Austin runs outside of the top 10 in 11th. Sorlin inside the top five with Charles Sanford. As Fitzwater hey. makes the pass for third. I think the Penske boys had the old qualifying set up. That was it. They were starting next to each other, first and third in a row. They must have had the qualifying heavy. Let's see if they can make any adjustments on the pit stops, as I believe if the Jerky Pro race was any sign. Now, Jerky Pro, the trucks have a, a slightly smaller fuel cell slash. Uh, they consume a little more fuel. And um, the cup cars can tend to go a little longer, so we might see more of a 31 to 33 window like we expected to see yesterday but didn't get uh, here today. As you can just see, Vince, it is basically the top six on up now with a really good chance that this is Andrew Rich has faded, Zach Flickinger, Kev Shear, and Nate Rogers. They've all faded just a touch from the front runners. As Rain is looking for the lead on Charles Sanford there, down to under 150 in the corners. Two seconds of fall off. As you just see Charles gets more of a run off the top. Rain throws it in in the bottom. Rain really gets a good corner there. But something tells me, Vince, this is going to be the battle at the end of the race is between Charles and Allison. I, I just think these two, I mean, we saw at Darlington last week, it could come down to pit strategy. I won't rule out Fitzwater. I know he hasn't had a win in a while just because he's working there and he can get a pit road entry and maybe use an undercut strategy, but these two seem to be the class of the field as of now. And, you know, we mentioned Vince, you know, all you got to do is get one win to be in the finale, but I think Charles Sanford knows after winning Darlington and where he's running right now, uh, the fewer drivers in that finale, yep. the better for him, the better, yeah, the better for his chances. And I think you look at Allison Rain, you know she's going to show up on that Speedway uh, package and all that stuff as she is doing here today, as she did at Darlington. And you do not want her in the finale if you can manage it. And next week, Zach, unfortunately, you can't control yourself next week. You have no control over who's going to win that. It's Armour Digital. It's, uh, that's a rookie place. I mean, rookies can win there. Realistically, Sanford must be sitting. If I can win today, you got a nice, you got a nice break in a way. Unless someone pulls a miracle, you know? Well, don't forget, he just won at Pigs Creek in the last Super Speedway race as Zorlin won the right. All-Star race after the fact. Um, but I would definitely say that Armory Digital is a track to watch out for Jessica Shelton because we know how good right. she does at the Super Speedways. As there she is currently running in 14th place. Ace Rogers and Adam Flickinger have closed the gap up to her. As McShane and Yepes continue the whole top 20 positions. Matt Rod down to 40th as Edwin Justice might be getting lapped here in a couple of laps. I think it would. Oh, we got a battle for third. Sorlin's back to third. Another driver to look out. Her. Another driver to look out for on the super speedways would be Kev Shear, as he won at Pensacola back in 2019. Um, and I think you can even throw the hat in for Tringali and Nate Rogers, as they have struggled to win this season. Of course, Tringali without a win. Uh, Nate Rogers got the win in the second Puka Kohe race. He's better in the center of the corner, but Charles is getting that top line run. But you got to say, Ray on the bottom, definitely saving your tires more than the top. But I think Charles could prevail sooner rather than later. I think Rain has the faster car, but she's just going to the bottom when she should be going to the top. Right. This fall off has reached three seconds. Three seconds. I think we're going to get the hit the four-second cliff. That's where the cliff will come in. As you see, the field is just spread out. Quentin Moore and Alexander Rowe have faded, so I believe it's going to be a four-horse race event. Um, you know, obviously, Jerky Pro Draft is a big deal. It wasn't really a big deal yesterday. Charles Sanford closed up to Nate without draft at all. Um, so I think the strategy call here is going to be very important, especially if this thing stays green. Um, you're looking at pitting 30 
31 to 33 here in the first stint and then 62 to 65 on the second stint. I think we could see some drivers take two tires on that second stop if it goes green. So I think maybe pitting later is a smart call for the first stop and then pitting a little early on the second stop just because you'll still have those fresher left side tires. I think that's the right call, man. Uh, what do you do if you're rain? You're you're basically the same thing as Darlington, right? You seem to have a faster car, but you just messed up last week with the pit call half. I don't know. I, I, I still think you'd have to come in a little earlier. You know, I mean, if you do stay out, don't stay out three or four extra laps. That's not going to work. Not here in Atlanta. Oh, it, yeah, when it was two laps at Darlington last week, and that didn't really work out for her at all because she got stuck in traffic and she couldn't go anywhere. And it looked like she was going to have a chance to close in at the end there, but then um, somebody, I forget who it was, somebody blew the engine and it really stacked up the field there. And at Seth that Cole. point, yeah, Seth Cole, yeah, Seth Cole was running in the top, top three there. Got to give a hand to Kev Shearer, though, keeping his car inside the top ten. As Austin looking to pass him for position, Andrew Rich trying to hold him off on the top. Dylan Young and Seth Cole have been just side by side, it seems, this entire run uh, with neither getting an inch. That's just doing battle for 12th. As Adam Flickinger and Ace Rogers have passed Jessica Shelton for position, is anybody going to come in the pit here on lap 31? And the answer, yeah, survey says no. Survey says no. There's Edwin Justice. Charles Sanford, man, I think if he can lead going into pit stops, that'll be very big for him. As we saw, you know, even the, the driver that's second into the pit lane, Vince, tends to lose time. We saw it with um, Ellison and Sanford, or no, not, not Sanford, Ellison and Nate Rogers yesterday, and then with Sanford and um, Baranowskis, I believe it was. This. Charles is going to cut down low here, making a late call to pit. Fitzwater's actually going to get second on Allison Rain, and Rain Whoa. lost a good amount of time there. Alexander Rose oh, stays Seth out. Cole. Seth Cole came in a lap early. That's a great call for Seth. Dylan Young, I think, is staying out a little longer here. That appears to be the case. There is the second group. I now I watch see, Seth Cole. You see Diego Yepes in there. Dylan Young, Austin also stayed out. Here we go, lap 33. So Rowe, out of the front runners, stayed out the longest. Matt Rod, I see there on the undercut as well. There goes Seth Cole. Seth Cole gained a ton of time, I think. Kev Shearer lost a ton of time, too. Bad pit stop for him. Well, look at the gap from Rain to Fitzy and Sam for events. That arrow block killed Rain now. I don't think Fitzwater has the car, man. Oh, my goodness. This could be a Sam for... Could he tie the record with eight? We haven't even talked about that for the Cup Series. Most wins in a single season. Eight wins. Andrew Rich did it 2018, and he did it winning the final race of the season. Charles will take back the point. Fitzwater second. Edwin Justice is a lap down. Rain will move back in the third. Zorlin fourth. So the top four remains the same as far as the drivers go. Just a little bit different between uh, Fitzy and Rain's position. Quinton Moore is fifth. Seth Cole up to sixth with the undercut. Rowe stayed out the longest. He is seventh. As Nate Rogers, Sack Flickinger, and Rich go three wide. Got for a problem on the pit. Someone, someone down there pit road again. I believe that was Will Parrish. So that is our top ten. Oskin in eleventh. Kev Shearer fell out of the top ten to twelfth. Ferranti, Peter Onjak with a good pit stop in fourteenth now. Dylan Young down to fifteenth. Shelton almost outside of the top 20. Going to lose 19th to Colt Hudson here, I believe. William Brock, James Ellison, Cole Deaver, Jesse Turner, McShane. Yepes lost a ton of time on pit road. Matt Rod is right there now. 
trying to minimize damage. Sebastian Kugelon, another tough day for him. As it is Will Parrish and somebody else. Who is that down there? That is Amanda Evans. So two drivers once again, but it is the stall behind the 11 instead of the stall in front. Same kind of area there on pit lane. It looks like drivers just maybe struggling to get into their pit stalls. But these two are going to come out, I think, several laps down, and they are going to be flying compared to the rest of the field. If it's more to Chris Cray, he's staying with Sanford, but Sanford just seems to have the, the pace right now. Looking at the lap times, they are practically even. Rain is a little slower than both of them, and Sorlin is a whole tenth slower than her. Let's look at the lap times here at the start-finish line. 32-160 for Charles Sanford. 164 for Fitzwater. So these two practically even. 201 for Rain and a 185 for Zorland. So they are all very, very close pace-wise, Vince. And they all pit on the same lap. So I'm not sure how any of them are going to get an edge on one another. Could come down to pit road. Who has the cleanest pit road? Maybe someone comes oh. early. Alexander Rowe ran his fastest lap of the race last time by a 31.833. That is three tenths faster than Charles Sanford's lap last time by. As Sanford extends his lead by about a tenth. And hey, Rowe, coming. Rowe is flying right now. 31.791 that time by to a 32.193. The gap is 6.6 .6 seconds, but there is plenty of time for him to, to gain time. As I believe the 11 is out of his stall. Here comes the 65. They will be in the middle of the field from the looks of it, Vince. Yeah, I think the 11 will oh, they're swerving there. Trying to get some heat in the tires, perhaps. Yeah, it looks like it. I think they're going to be in a three-wide battle right there. <laughs> By the way, fastest lap on the race. Wow, Alex Ferranti with a 31.602. And he sits 13th on the track. There's the three-wide battle. So Parrish is going to come out right outside of the top 20 runners. And Amanda Evans will be, I believe, just outside of the top 30 runners. Tough day for RJ Bishop, Nico Tringali. I mean, Tringali's just had nothing today. Sitting in 35th place, Vince. Uh, same for Keith Rich down in 39th. See Charles Sanford continuing to hold a 9 tenths of a second gap. Rowe has cut his advantage down to under 6 seconds. As you see, Seth Cole is really starting to fall off. Rowe has already passed Quinton Moore. And Nate Rogers has dropped off a cliff as well. I mean, Rowe, he, need, he needs to get by Seth Cole now, though. This is the same thing as Darlington with Rain. you got to get past these slower cars, per se. Get at least up to second on the cycle. He gained another three tenths of a second that time by Vince. Down to five point four seconds. And he just got to get by Seth. He's just got to throw it in. Seth is on a two lap disadvantage to Alexander Rowe. There it is. Sorlin's falling back too in the clutches of Rowe. This could be good. I, I don't think I would count Rowe for that three times, three times a charm here in Atlanta. 5.2 seconds that time by. Rowe will clear Seth Cole for fifth. Remember, Rowe is not in the playoffs. He is racing for best non-playoff driver, 12th in the standings. Andrew Rich is behind him there in eighth. And then, of course, uh, Deaver is not even in the top 20, I believe. He is in 26th. He is having a tough day, too. You see, Sanford is just inching away from Fitzwater at this point, Vince. Uh, Rain is maintaining the gap, and it looks like Zorlin is just slow. Let's see, 32-9. Yeah, so Sanford and Rain are running about the same time. Fitzwater has started to fall off. Other fast times on the board today. Zorlin second, Sanford third, Nate Rogers fourth, Austin fifth, Rain, Shearer, Shelton, Quinton Moore, and Alexander Rowe. They're all front runners, or, well, top 10 times Shelton not in the top 10 at all um, everybody else though I believe is close to it Shelton is down to 20th Austin is in 12th Dylan Young back up to 11th though Vince 
Good rebound. Maybe made some adjustments. He got around Oskin. Oskin was ahead on that first one. How about Onjak, though? 14th place right now. I believe they are still looking for their first top 10 on the season. And that is correct. I don't know if they really have a chance here. They're behind three very fast drivers. Is Alexander hey, what's Rowe. Hey, Rowe is there. <laughs> Andrew Rich has gotten by Seth Cole for sixth place. And row to the inside of Sorlin. So now the pit window is around 10 laps to go. Lap 64 to 66. And the question is, do you take four tires or two tires or no tires? Uh, well, maybe Ro can gamble here. He's got, maybe he's got nothing to lose, right? Might as well try some different. Two tires might be the call. So when they came out of pit road 13 laps ago, the gap was about 6.6 .6 seconds. And Rowe has closed in two seconds worth of time. Now, Rain, I think, might be the toughest driver for him to pass because she has been running about the same times as the race leader. 33 O's. Again, Fitzwater about a tenth slower than these two. Rowe appears to be two tenths faster. Let's see at the line. 33-1, 33-0. So Rowe's stuff starting to wean off a bit. Where are our lap cars? And of course, Edwin Justice up here, a lap down. I think it's Rich, I think, is the lap car. He might be the uh, the last one on the lead lap. Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't talking about those lap cars. I was talking about Will Parrish and Amanda Evans. No, they're keeping up. I think they're looking good. Let's see, Will, how much faster can Will dive into the corner here? Oh, it's not super noticeable. I think if it was um. If it was rain five laps down, they'd be she'd be blowing doors off. Yeah, well, Paris just doesn't, he doesn't have the experience. Yeah, no, his tires are clipped off too. How about Amanda Evans, she's got a few years on her. She seems to be doing just a smidge better. She is about two tenths faster than the eleven of Parrish. Yeah, she you can really see how she gets in through the middle of the corner. Jesse Turner currently running in twenty third place. Cole Deaver has been struggling again today there. You see him in 26. Matthew Rodriguez back down the 33rd. So Yepa is still gaining points. Not as many as he thought. Same with McShane. But Adam Flickinger is looking to gain a ton of, a ton of points on the top 30 today. As um, Adam came in 33rd in the standings. He has a lot of points to gain. But there's still a chance that somebody other than Matt Rod could be top 30 in the points by the end of the year. And that is big for next season's points. But of course, um, not sure how much it really matters because Seth Cole Racing is going away. Not sure where those points will go in the first place. As Roe, Vince, he's just stabilized at 4.2 seconds. Fitz, Fitz, he's losing more time. He might fall into this battle for second here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Charles Sanford looking to put Laura Chung a lap down. That would leave us with 38 cars on the lead lap. It didn't cost Charles anything. Maybe, maybe a hundredth of a second, if that. Not even Fitz, he's just losing time. Yeah, so if you think about it, Vince, the only owner points that really matter in the top 30 right now that won't be back in the form of a team next year is the Seth Cole Racing 71 machine driven by Matthew Rodriguez. Um, all the cars below him in owner points are returning, aside from Sam Dyer as well. Right. As um, it is believed that Seth Cole will take his owner points with him to uh, S3 Motorsports. So, unsure where those 71 points would go. I would... Th this is not what's happening, but I would not be surprised if those 71 points went to the other S3 Motorsports car as S3 Motorsports is expanding from two cars to four next season. Seth Cole will drive the 07. Henry Sanford will drive the 06. So I would not be surprised if Seth and Charles make a deal there and get the 71's owner points over to that 06 for Henry Sanford. I would not put Probably. that out of the realm of possibility. Oh yeah, I, me either. I think Charles is 
Charles and that family, they know what they're doing, I sure. I would, I would sure think it'd be an interesting team battle, inter-team battle, though, with Seth and Charles. That should be interesting for next season. That'd be fun. Andrew Rich all over the bumper of Zorlin for fifth place. Of course, Rich is looking at Roe, who he's racing for 12th in the standings. Nine-point gap between them coming in, so Roe just kind of racing for 12th in the standings. A Rich and Roe are at that. Um, it looks like Rain is starting to chip away at Charles Sanford's lead, Vince. And Rain has the better on the long run. So is Roe. Roe's under four seconds, but it's Fitzy. Yeah, well, what will Fitzy do? That's a teammate. I mean, will Fitzy just be nice here, or...? See, Sanford ran a 34-1 last time by. Rain ran a 33-9. That might be draft with Fitzwater coming into play. But we'll see if Rain is faster than Fitzwater or not. There you see another 10th to Sanford's lead. But still a lot of time. I think strategy is going to be really big here with this race, just like it was in Darlington. If you come in a lap early, you may not have enough time to get back to the lead, too. It's going to be close. We'll see. It's Ray outside, peeking just a little bit, get some clean air on the nose on the left, on the right, excuse me, right side. Just watches up though, arrow tight. Fitzy's holding a good line. Yeah, just stalled out a little bit. Rain has closed the gap to Fitzwater as they're about to lap Laura Chung. This could be a good setup point. Remember what happened all the way back at Auto Club. Oh yeah, yeah. That was for a win, but Rain used the lap car to get by Fitzwater. Now Fitzwater's going to jump up first. And I don't think he wants to lose this position. Charles Sanford's closing in on a battle between Logan York and Keith Rich. His fall off is over three seconds. Roe is now, Roe is losing time now to Charles Sanford. Sack flicking your seventh. Seth Cole still hanging on in the top ten. He's eighth. Dylan Young has made it by, um, Oscar. no, Austin, it was Nate Rogers who fell out of the top ten. As James Ellison is up to twelfth looking for eleventh on Samet Austin. Where he did, loves this place. Where did Ellison come from, man? Oh, my goodness. Up to Eighth 11th over Samet Oskin. As pit stops, oh! Seth Cole and Charles Sanford in early. Oh, I don't know. This is uh, not what I thought would happen. Is it a four-tire pit stop? I mean, how do you stay out and take two? Nothing I mean, to lose for Charles Sanford. If you think about it, if he takes four here, he's looking very good. Yeah. Oh my god, I think I think the field yep, got they're snipped. answering they're answering Rain and Fitzwater, Rich and Zorlin coming in the pit road. They're gonna have the one extra lap pressure. But I don't know. Well the gap was already two seconds. Austin stays out. Is someone gonna try a two tire call at the back? I mean uh, I don't think the back's gonna do think, anything though. Yeah, I don't think it would really do anything for him. You know, this could do. It might cause a caution, though, if we get those really slow cars out there and Sanford's out there. Just got to be careful of that. Four-tire pit stop for Rain. Fitzwater's going to come out first. Rowe is into the pit lane. He stayed out. Sanford's probably pulling by. There it is. And there's Charles. Getting held up a bit by Will Parrish here. Remember, he's still... Four laps down. Wow, really getting held up here. And he's just gonna just peek to his inside, and there you see the difference in tires. All right, now the hunt's on. I mean, Sanford's got. To, oh, I think I think everyone's in now. I, believe, I would think. I believe you are correct. I think Jesse Turner might have stayed out, but I believe he just went to the pit lane. All right, so that I, I oh we got some lappers here. No, nah, it's just gonna hurt Fitzwater. I mean, I think the more Samper keeps mowing down, fitzy has got to go, and and Rain is getting held up. Is that by her teammate? Yes, that is. That's Amanda oh, Evans. 
goodness, I think that might be all she wrote. Yeah, it looks like a few drivers stayed out there. Edwin Justice, Logan York, Sanford, though, back to the lead now. 4.4 second lead over Fitzwater. Parrish is really slow. Parrish is going to get in Fitzwater's way. Thank Lap you, cars. Yeah. Oh, is Keith Rich going to go to his inside? Oh, there's a Home Depot blockade going on here. He gets around him. Uh, like he's in a Home Depot sandwich. Rain can't get by Matt Rod. I think this is Sanford's to lose again. Rain gained a ton of time on Fitzy there. She is third. Sorlin and Rowe already passing Seth Cole for fourth and fifth. Andrew Rich is in seventh. Zach Flickinger, 8th. Quentin Moore, ninth. Dylan Young, 10th. As a huge gap back to 11th of Nate Rogers. I think the top 10 is set. Ellison's looking at an 11th or 12th place finish. Austin, 13th. Kukulon, where did he come from? 14th place all of a sudden. Ferranti, 15th. Hudson, 16th. Flickinger, 17th. Shelton, Onjak, Kev Shear, the top 20. McShane, 23rd, trying to look at that top 30 battle there a little bit. Tringali's up to the top 20, almost the top 25. Seriously, Turner, I'm pretty sure Turner stayed out the longest out of everybody. I'm not sure if he took four or two, though. William Brock just went a lap down. Yepes is in 32nd. Matt Rudd, 37th. As Sanford has pulled to a five-second advantage. But we still have 10 to go next time by Vince. I don't think it's going to work, Zach. I just think Fitzy is going to get held up by the lap cars. And we know his lap car tendency. I, if it was rain, it would be a different start. I, just, I think Sanford just needs to back her down, let Brock go if he's got quicker, fresher tires. and that's He's got around the Home Depot sandwich, but he's got to go now to get any shot. That's the real question. Is Fitzwater even faster on pace alone? Two tenths, he is. two tenths faster there, so definitely. But he's got to go. He's got to haul the mail. He's got to get around for me to knock. I don't know. He needs, he's got to get around all my four, one, two, three, four. All right, Brock got around Sanford. That helps Fitzy. That's one less. See if anybody set any faster laps. No, Parrish on pit lane for his final oh, stop. Depends where they catch him. That could be big. Fitzy's coming. He's definitely making some time. Two tenths a lap. It's just not enough time, though. He needs to make four tenths a lap. I believe Andrew Rich will get sixth place on Seth Cole here in a minute. As Rowe is looking for fourth on Zorlin, I think, to answer that. It's uh, Sack Flickinger way to the bottom. What a run for Sack Flickinger, though. I think it's, you know, one of those undervalued drivers there you know sack flickinger we don't see him in the top 10 a lot but when he is you know it's very nice to see him there this of course sack took off 2020 but he has been a decent threat all year long 17th in the point standings he's a super speedway winner he won at talladega one season watch out for him next week at armory digital I think the stall has now come in for Fitzmore. He only gained about 0.7 there, or 0 0.07. Don't think he's got it. And, re and you got to remember, Charles is drafting off William Brock here. As here comes Amanda Evans out of pit lane. Will Parrish as well. Yeah. No issues for them this time around, it appears. They are still five laps down. Ben Evans might be able to mess with Sanford in the closing laps just off of fresh tires, but I think Sanford's got this man in the bag, barring a mechanic or something. And what can you say, right? You just said it earlier in the broadcast, right? Eliminate as many people as possible with the races, the magic number. Now we're six races to go after this with two speedways and a road course. I mean, you know, we might only have three or four people. That's what his goal is in that finale. And the bigger thing here to look at, too, is, you know, the momentum is absurd for Charles at this point. 
you know, he's he's got five laps to go here. If you go back to, I mean, the first ten races of the season, he had just two wins. Uh, Miller Motorsports Park and Pocono. Race 18, he got the win at Kentucky in a bizarre race. And that's where the momentum, I think, started for Charles. Because then he won at Milano in the photo finish. Then he won at Pigs Creek. And then he went back-to-back -back with the win at Island Rally. He's about to go back-to-back -back again if he gets this done here at Atlanta. After he won at Darlington last week. And Charles is just on a tear right now. And this has been, it's been his year. Um, you're looking at what will be his 11th win between Digital Storm Cup and the Jerky Pro Truck Series. And a record at that. Um, what would be his 10th career Dig Digital Storm Cup Series win. And the most between both series, 16 wins. He is looking to make that a record. And what a breakout year when you think that 11 of those wins have come this year. That, that's uh, unheard of. That's... I don't know if there's a Hall of Fame in this league or what, but that's Hall of Fame numbers, I hate to say. I mean, that's uh, ungodly numbers. Now, the only thing he's got to be worried about here, like you said, is you don't want to have so much momentum into that last race and lose in the championship. And I, I think they're going to have something special. But then again, if it's just him and Oskin off of pure speed, and this track is similar to Chicagoland, he's got the upper edge. Well, with two laps to go, Vince, I just noticed that Parrish got passed by Sanford, so I believe the 11 and the 65 opted to take two tires. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, I think it was two. It had to be tied on the right side. Yeah, I think it's a uh, game seven match, buddy. Let's be here. A well, well, lap and a half to go here for Charles Sanford for number eight. Fitzwater second, Rain third, Rowe fourth, Zorlin fifth. Rich 6th, Seth Cole 7th, Zach Flickinger 8th, Quinton Moore 9th, and Dylan Young the top 10 as Charles Sanford takes the white flag. Austin 11th, Nate Rogers 12th, Ellison 13th, Shelton 15th, Kukulon 14th, good day for him. Just kind of looking through the running order. Kev Shearer 21st, Tringali 24th. Sanford and Brock still side by side. As they go into turn three, it'll be a record-tying eighth career win, or eighth win on the season, tenth career win in the Digital Storm Cup Series. Charles Sanford goes back-to-back -back for the second time this season, and he gets it done at Atlanta. I mean, what can you say right now? This guy's just unbelievable. There's nothing you can say, man. I mean, he, he's, on a, he's on a different planet right now. Maybe, maybe he... Uh... Uh, let's not go there. But anyway, uh, you know, he, he's on a different planet right now. Maybe he just figured out how to bowl better than these guys because he's just delivering strikes all day. Results are official. Fitzwater second, Rain third, Row fourth, Zorlin fifth, Seth Cole sixth, Rich in seventh. So Rich going to lose points to Row there for the battle for twelfth. Quentin Moore, ninth, Zach Flickinger, eighth, and Dylan Young, tenth. So then, eighth win on the season. Tying Andrew Rich is uh, 2018 mark. Fifteenth, top five. Him and Rain, both with 15 top fives now on the season. And that was Sanford's 21st top ten. Those are record-extending marks. So we'll head to Armory Digital Vents. We'll see who's going to be the surprise or well, one of these big four drivers. I think it's really like a big four now between Sanford, Fitzy, Rain, and Zorlin because Dylan Young has just not had it for a long no. time this season now. It is, it is no longer a, really a big five to me. I mean, he's still got a ton of top tens with them, but he has just not been in the top five as much. I really think, uh, you know, it's down to four drivers and maybe Austin he's been very consistent too um, but only with one win on the season but Armory Digital is next week I don't believe Yep has gained enough points to jump Matt Rod nope he only gained six points uh, McShane gained 12 and Adam Flickinger gained 23 um, so that'll make that battle much tighter but Armory Digital next week 
sure to be a crazy race. And we'll see you guys for that one. Sign up.